Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to Deb Snell's 48th World with the family. And we're going to be having a family affair topic conversation over here. And y'all see who the headliners are. Yes, the headliners. (laughs) Nene, girl. Nene's still out there trying to sue people, okay, for unfair treatment. Like she's doing it for the world. And the females involved. But she's doing it for herself. And we all know that. Okay. But thank you. Thank you. Thank you for coming over. And we're going to discuss this topic of conversation. Uh, RadarOnline.com has a storyline or a headline called So Nasty, So Rude. Andy Coyne and Bravo demand NeNe Leaks racism lawsuit be moved out of the public eye. Yes, that's what Radar Online is talking about. She was shaded towards Carlos King. Now she's trying to be shaded towards Bravo and NBC Universal, True Entertainment, and True Original. Okay. Nene has placed a bet, and we're going to see if her ass can catch it. Okay. Y'all see, I see. Y'all see, I did that. We're going to see. She placed a bet. And we're going to see if her ass can cash it. Yes. All right. Nene is hanging around with a friend who she told us once when we first knew of him that it was her man. It was her boyfriend. But now she acting like that ain't what she meant to say. Did a video on it. Go check it out, okay? But we're going to talk about this situation where uh, it seems like it was a clause in Nene's contract. Probably all in the ladies' contract uh, dealing with Bravo Entertainment, you know. uh, Because I remember uh, Mariah Hug or Hugh uh, on Merit to Medicine. She was behind the scenes dealing with um, Bravo as well. Because they tried to steal her idea of the show, Married to Medicine. And she had been in several negotiations, several talks about how, when, and where are we going to get this lawsuit going. But as you see how that mysteriously appeared and disappeared over a period of time. Because they did find fault in something that Mariah was alleging. And they didn't want it to go to court. They didn't want all the messy details to come out. And the end of windows to be showing up, showing out. And put them in a bad lighting. You see what I'm saying? Because then it would cause other people to come out and try to sue them for the same damn thing. Okay? So I can see how that went. And that's kind of sort of uh, the example uh, Nene and her attorney are trying to uh, set out for the masses to see. To have a in the public eye so they can pretty much sway the jury if they would be one or the judge on hey they knew what was going on but they did nothing to erase the situation or handle the situation in an amicable way so uh yeah (laughs) funny 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 honey so nene might in fact well we always thought she would probably get something but is it gonna be something that's gonna last her a lifetime for her lifetime and then if she expires is it going to be something that her son can live off as well because i don't really know if he's getting the tools or the trade to be able to function by himself i know his older brother can't help him from what they're trying to say he's mixed up in so it is pretty much like uh are you going to get enough to survive off uh, after you do the lawsuit, because I don't think you're going to be having a lot of people 
banging on your door wanting you to come out and play with them and sign you to a contract. Unless we're talking about Zeus Network, okay? Everybody be sleeping on Zeus Network, but hey, it's a good stream of income if you ain't got none. Okay, that's what I'm saying. And, and Nene knows what the score is. She know what time it is. That's why she did that uh, build your career back up of a talk show. Uh, <clears throat> what do you call it? Um, oh, what was it called? Uh, college Hill. All right. Because we know ain't nobody checking for College Hill. And anybody who's anybody won't be checking for uh, College Hill and seeing how Nene prevails in that. Okay, unless they hire their do workers to go and watch it, and then they come back and give them a summary of what happened, how did she fare, this, that, and the third. But, uh, yeah, mm, no, Nene. So, we can anticipate you getting something, but when you sit in arbitration, it's just like somebody that's non biased is gonna sit and hear. All the arguments that have made pros and cons or whatever. And then they're going to weigh into it and find fault on whichever the party is or both parties all together. And once that ruling is it, it's just a ruling of how much money will be paid out to the winning participant. You see what I'm saying? Uh, but it seems like Nene and her... Um, attorney wants to be wants the situation <clears throat> to play out in the court of opinion meaning they want the press to know everything so i don't think that's going to happen they're not going to put all their cards on the table nene so it'll be fair and wise that you don't say anything else okay and you do all your talking in a mediation or a arbitration okay but i find it weird <laughs> Are we not a state in Georgia that can hold an arbitration? I think we are. Uh, but, I, you know, any lawyers in the family, let us know. Or are we barking up the wrong tree or we are spot on, okay? Uh, but they want to send it to New York. I said, the concrete jungle, New York? New York? They say if you can make it in New York, you can make it anywhere. Hey, hey. I said the same thing for every state. If you can make it in any state. You can make it, okay? But that's just a tell time, tell tell sign that they give all New Yorkers or people coming to New York to, uh, you know, it's like a melting pot of every culture, every ethnicity that comes in that port, and, and it start there. And then, you know, I'm talking about people from out the country, and then uh, you go and you just migrate to whatever state, city you had thought about living in so um yeah they want to move the court proceedings up to new york i'm like oh, 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 oh. And, uh, you know i don't know what the playing ground is if they have it in new york what is going to be accepted what's not going to be accepted but from what i hear from reading this article it seems like they feel they have a better chance of winning or not paying that much to Nene if they had it in arbitration and it was uh, done in New York City. Look, well, at least that's what Bravo and Andy is pushing for. Okay. But let's go into the article that Radar Online brought out. Uh, like I said, um, let me see. Ryan Newman was the one who brought out and uh, set it up to have a uh, commentary on his little piece he wrote up for his employer. He titled it So Nasty, So Rude. Andy Cohen and Bravo demand Nene Leakes' racism lawsuit be moved out of the public eye. It says Nene Leakes has been fighting Andy Cohen and Bravo over their attempts to move a bombshell lawsuit, accusing them of retaliation behind closed doors. Okay? According to the court documents obtained by Radar, NBC Universal, who owns Bravo, Cohen and the producers of Real Housewives of Atlanta have informed the court of this dispute or the dispute all right as radar online reported earlier this year leaks filed suit claiming to have reported multiple incidents of racism or racist remarks by her co-star kim zoziak beerman leaks said the network took no action against zoziak beerman but instead retaliated against her okay it's just all regurgitated stuff we all 
definitely a hearing for those who wanted to take interest in the subject. And <clears throat> they just regurgitating pretty much everything except for the arbitration deal. In the new film or the in the new filing, NBC and Cohen explain they want the case moved to private <clears throat> arbitration in New York. If they are able to convince a judge, that means the entire case will be kept hidden from the public. Okay. Well, we know you don't have some infractions, Andy, and we know you don't want the shit to get out because they'll probably have people come and be in court testifying against you and the Bravo, and you know it just is what it is, okay? Because y'all do know that she does have some claims that are true, absolutely true, even though the current members or the current cast members of each franchise of the housewives would testify against nene saying no that's never happened to them they don't know where nene getting this from you know because they all want to save their asses and their job okay and they don't want to be put out on the walking the plank on like if you're on a boat and you, you don't call doing something crazy so they're just gonna throw you into the sea yes they want nene on that plank walking the deck before they toss her into the wild blue yonder okay and that's the ocean the sea we talking about okay but then we go back to the article it says the defendants claims leaks contracted a contract has a provision that states all legal disputes will be handed and handled in arbitration leaks and her lawyers have disagreed with that stance well, they can disagree all they want to, you know, but it's always the judge that's going to be able to level the playing field if she or, this, or he decides to do so. Well, that's one thing they do feel that she'll be able to hold up in the court of law is when you got somebody signature on a piece of paper with, under, with the understanding that they knew what arbitration would be like, could be like. And that is going to be done if any lawsuits. Because, you know, you're not supposed to sue Bravo anyway. On any type of uh, instance. That's why they probably put this clause in there. Okay. Nene didn't want a total line. Nene saw herself getting done wrong. Nene said she's going to make them pay. If she can't get on the show no more. If she can't be seen as much as she was seen in the past episodes and seasons. Then she's going to start some shit out there. And pretty much that's what she did. She shitted all over Barbo and anybody else in the franchise is still, you know, being seen there. Yes, okay. And then she talking about she want to talk to Andy Cohen behind closed doors and try to repatch some shit. Oh, that ship has sailed, Nene. That ship has sailed, girlfriend. But going back to the article, it says the defendant's claims leaks contract has a provision that states all legal disputes will be handled in arbitration. Leaks and her lawyer have disagreed with that stance. The parties agreed to push the next deadline by 45 days to allow them to work out a deal. And a lawsuit leaks lawyer wrote from the day the series began filming, Nene was the target of systematic racism from co-star Kim Zosiak Beerman, which was tolerated by Bravo executives, producers Andy Cohen, and other executives. Leaks in October two <coughs> 2017, Leaks said it all hit the fan when Zosiak Beerman and her daughter publicly attacked her with a claim or claiming her house or new home was, uh, I guess, I don't, I think she said fucking roach nest. I'm not sure. She took to Instagram to speak out against her former co-star, but then was reported, reportedly told by the network to delete her social media posts. Okay, leak started in the Real Housewives of Atlanta from its launch in 2008 through 2020. The court documents, she said, after complaining about Zodiac Beerman and producers and the network made her life hell for years with lowball offers and dirty games to make her look bad during production. Further, the iconic reality star claims she was denied the right to do other work other than filming for Real Housewives of Atlanta when other housewives who had not spoken out against racially offensive treatment were permitted the right to do other work. And I'm pretty sure she's talking about maybe Kenya and Candy. Um, I don't think she's talking about Kim. Here they gave Kim her own show, okay? And she wasn't uh, ever traveling with them either when they went out on different um, trips promoting the show in different states and countries you know 
Kim went up for it. She 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 wasn't there for it. <laughs> so I can kind of see where the uh, preferential treatment is given uh, to one that's not given to all. I can see the parts that he was talking about. Uh, you know how Kim treated her staff, meaning Sweetie, and uh, you know she made lowball type of in the windows of accusations when it was dealing with you know black people of course but you know where we get kind of confused and the waters are kind of murky nene is when you still constantly hang out with kim and you sit there and say you got no problem with kim kim's your best friend you know and you spending time on and off camera with her so that's where you know the stuff gets a little murky murk <coughs> murky for us uh, a little cloudy, I should say, on should we believe this uh, situation that you swear you're in. Because you didn't have to be in that situation. You could have quit your job. You know what I'm saying? Because the reality shows are not like real jobs. But they get excessively, excessively paid some serious do re me, some money, some greenbacks. You see what I'm saying? And that's what people, or some people I should say, are out there trying to achieve. They want that quick six to seven, eight figure salary. And they really don't want to no, do no work like real actor and actresses. You know, people that have been uh, solidified for schooling and experience honing their craft to be able to make that top dollar. You know, cause I'm sure if you were put in an arena with uh, paid actors and actresses that actually went to school, they have a lot of experience of acting in their belt under their belt and they've been on different shows uh some different sitcoms and then you come in on a reality show and try to sit at the same table with them when you're you know you're like what have you done you know what are you doing you know stuff that issue uh because i know nini had a problem with going into the uh comedian world and lunel had to get a hold to her and a few other uh actresses or comedians had to come for nini throat too because you know it's not unless you're just naturally funny and you can just talk and have a conversation with every and anybody then you know i ain't talking about just making your friends laugh and your family laugh i'm just talking about making strangers laugh when you don't really have no intentions on making them laugh but they think everything is so hilarious you know or you can tell stories and uh you know have them mesmerize what you're sa saying about somebody you're talking about you know so you know, I call it just a gift or whatever. And you were just naturally born to do that. But uh, Needy was trying to be a comedian at one time. And child, she got up there and told somebody in the audience that she hoped they get raped or something like that. I said, what? An Uber driver or something. I was like, no. So Needy started getting really shaded since that point. Because ain't nobody forgot about that. And do you not think that they're going to actually make reference of all of that i mean shoot you gave them a lot of bad footage to work with nene to tell you the truth you gave them a lot of ammunition against your ass but it seems it seems plausible that she may have some infractions done to her that shouldn't have been done to her or overlooked because i'm gonna tell you just some personal experience hr human resources when you're at your employer uh company organization they are there to definitely make sure the company continues to run. They will not really necessarily take your threat seriously. Uh, of legal lit litigation against them. They will probably 86 yo behind up out of there. Fire you on the spot before you become more of a problem with them. You see what I'm saying? So they try to get rid of all the uh, negative stuff. All the people that were doing negative stuff. Uh, stuff against you because you know it could cost them down the, down the road and they don't want to be looked at uh as a employer that don't uh keep the welfare of their uh employees at you know on a good stance or in good lighting so uh yeah i could see i could see i could see where nene will have some uh heels to climb and some battles to uh be sought out but the whole thing is once all the clouds have gone away, the rain has stopped pouring, everybody's on one accord with what needs to be done going forward. 
will you be able to seek work out in the entertainment world? I mean, do you really think somebody's going to want to take a chance on you that you may feel a certain kind of way and you start acting, you know, crazy? Uh, or they may deem you as acting crazy and trying to pump them for money. You see what I'm saying? Because I was out there and I had a, 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 a business where it was uh, employing a lot of entertainers. I would look at you two and three times and then have to put you on a waiting list before I take hiring you seriously. You know what I'm saying? So I hope, Nene, for your sake, because you're you know, 54 like me, you don't have too many more working years uh, ahead of you. And I don't know, like, like I said, I don't understand why people want to get into the entertainment field because you never get a break. You forever working. They'll have your ass working up at, at 90. Okay. Because they have some of these music industry people. Artists. They, like look at Anita Baker. No she should have been retired a long time ago. Hell Aretha Franklin when she was on the earth. She still was out there trying to earn. In her 80's. Okay. Gladys Knight still trying to do shit. I'm like damn. At least on a regular job. Professional job. Whatever you may call it. You get to retire. You don't pay into Social Security. Your job don't pay in it now for you. Then you just retire. But people, you know, that uh, are in the entertainment field, just say, as an example, uh, music artists, people that can sing, they had to get their, they're like independent contractors, okay? They have to get their own insurance. They have to look out for paying their taxes, making sure tax, taxes are getting paid. They have to make sure they're invested in the Social Security program if they're going to want that check as well it's just too much it's too much but hey it is what it is but that's all i got for this video guys they ain't playing with nene they plan on settling with nene i don't know if it's gonna be the amount that she want because her damn lawyer is gonna take a big ass chunk out of whatever she getting okay because i don't think nene got no money to really secure uh lawyers at the rate that they're going uh, working on her case on a daily. How much they're billing to her account. Oh, child, you know they're going to get paid for Nene get paid. So, uh-uh-uh-uh-uh. I'm like, uh, 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 uh. they taking your behind to the New York State, honey. Woo! Well, that's all I got, y'all. Y'all get out of the comments. Tell me what y'all felt about this. Uh, you know, what Nene going to win? Or, you know, why they moving it? Uh, old... You know, over there to New York. I mean, do Bravo or NBC got better connections up there that can, you know, barricade or what do you call it? Barricade Nene behind in on all these things she's saying they've done to her and she had to be putting up with it. Because I'm like, most people that ain't really trying to sue nobody, they just want peace of mind when they go to work and whatnot and not feel like they're being attacked on every uh, facet of their being, being employed with the organization. Child. <laughs> -wee. That's all that I can say. Mm -mm. I would not want to be in her shoes. Because me, I would just buy it out gracefully and got the hell on. But Nene, she stayed in the course. She's saying this is all she got. She ain't got no more uh, energy to be out here working. And I'm like, honey child, that's why that man stand by you, that Yanni guy. Uh -huh, I call him Shabba. Scammer man, shabba shabba, scammer man. Yes, you're gonna end up taking half of your fortune that your little fortune, I should say. But you know, when it's hitting the millions, you, you don't call that little, okay? But your nest egg is going to be shared with your, you say, friend, okay? Friend. But we all know that, hey, he ain't your friend, he ain't your foe, you know, he, he just. We can't put our hands and, and mouth and mind to what he's trying to do to you. Only thing we do come up with is that he's trying to scam your behind. And you're loving it. You're feeding all into it. You more than likely paid for all those trips that y'all took. Las Vegas. Uh, France. And then Africa. Girl, please. Those are, well, the first, well, the African trip. Or Africa trip. As well as the, um... Or Paris trip were probably some whoo money money makers for the tickets for the hotel stay the shopping spree 
Yeah, honey. You can't be throwing caution to the wind and then and, and throwing money on a man that's not even yours. Uh, honey, that scammer man seemed to me like he would just go and uh, mess with you to a certain degree. He probably would even divorce his wife, marry you, and take all your money. You know, by saying, I'm not... Um, I'm not happy anymore, but I need spousal support. <laughs> Wouldn't that be a sight for sore eyes? Ah, nee, nee, nah, nee. Honey, you may have education and you may be smarter than you look and how you act around him. You can say the same for Kim because until Phaedra had pulled up that she was truly a student at somebody's university and that she had passed her boards and became a licensed registered nurse but ain't practiced not one day that blew me from my chair because when i saw kim i saw airhead you know um uh, barbie type airhead headness now nene she only did two years but those first two years i'm sure she had to do math english you know all her basic studies before she really got to the latter two years to practice for her career so i ain't gonna say nene crazy or stupid well, yeah, I can't say it, but it wouldn't hold up because she does have some parts of being educated. You see what I'm saying? You could be an educated fool. I mean, you could be uh, educated, but you brain, uh, common sense smart, you don't have. So, I, I'm really not sure why Nene is acting so dumb. I guess, you know, being around a man, having a man... Uh, tell you how beautiful you are or how smart you are or just want to hang around you just because they just are so in love with you hell i don't know what the situation is but that's not for me to know and that's uh, not for me to find out but we hope fully hope for nene to not get into a situation where somebody gonna take her for a ride and i mean not just you know being good in bed but taking your full bank account because you don't think Andy Cohen has friends in the business. You don't think NBC Universal have major business deals with other entities that can employ you. But they're giving the nod that don't do it. You don't think they won't do that, Nene? Girl, please. They did that shit in the 50s and 60s. Especially to what that girl who played Mama Dearest. Anybody know that, that white woman played Mama Dearest? It wasn't John, what, Joan Crawford. I think that's her name. Joan Crawford, girl. You don't see how bad they did her. After her husband had died. <laughs> like I said, it's your game. It's your ball. It's your category you're trying to play in. But I hope you play to win. And if you do get a nice, large settlement, you better be putting that shit up and... I don't even know if you should gamble with it as far as putting it in. Well, you could put it in some stock options. But, you know, just the, our, our uh, world right now is kind of, spec. you know, it's kind of iffy. You know what I'm saying? Because you can lose when you try your best to invest in other, um, what do you call it? Other um, companies, businesses, something like that. Uh, but, yeah, you don't look like you do you would do something like this so i hope you got a team because it didn't look like you had a team a couple of years back maybe you got a team now well you really need a manager but then i don't know if you need a manager because they like i said my, they, it, they would be a fool to hire you because you are a liability at this point so that's all I got for this video, guys. I ain't got no more. Y'all get down in those comments. Y'all tell me what y'all think about uh, Bravo and Andy Coin pushing the envelope for all this arbitration or uh, settling uh, debts with Nene should be done out of the public eye and, and, and not being disclosed about what she got, how much she got, or any of that. Because actually, they can do that. They can gag order her. And she not make no type of, you know, bad assumptions about Bravo going forward or tr NBC or whatever. I'm sure they're going to tell her, no, nope, you can't say nothing bad about us. Because this little figure right here, you want that figure. Because you guess what? You may not be getting any more job opportunities. So you better make sure you save, okay? But I'm pretty sure they don't give a shit about Nene. They don't care whether she save, invest good, well, or whatever. They just want her out. 
out of their lives. <laughs> okay? Because she's costing them. But just the way of the world, just the way of the world. So y'all get down in those comments. Let me think of, let me know what y'all thought about Nene going through all of this and if she's gonna play it well and save her money and get rid of that scammer, scammer man. But that's all I got, guys. I'll see y'all next video. Bye-bye.